Yo, what's going on everybody? It's your boy iPod King Cardi here. I want to welcome you guys to a new video. Today we're talking about NBA 2K20. You already know how the game go. The goal is 3,000 likes starting off on this video. Shout out to everybody who has subscribed and turned on Noti so far. We are closing in on 600k. I didn't even realize it. Somebody told me the other day, but we closing in. But today we're here to talk about crossplay between PS4, Xbox, Nintendo Switch, PC, the whole shebang for NBA 2K20 and all future installments of NBA 2K series. So check this out, man. If you guys don't know who LD2K is, he is someone that is for the community that works at 2K. He has been answering a lot of questions via Twitter. And one question came in last night that even got my eyes open wide. For whatever reason, Um Davis happened to ask LD, What's the probability of cross-platforming being implemented this year? Now, of course, he did ask Mike Wang as well. Mike Wang is a, is a head gameplay producer over at 2K. I won't say that he doesn't have the time to answer questions. I'm, I just believe that he gets flooded with questions all day long, and his Twitter fingers ain't like that. He working on the game. And if he ain't working on the game, like if Mike Wang was tweeting and he wasn't working on the game, I would have a problem with that. So... Basically, Chris said, can't comment on that specifically, but can say it's something the team is looking at. <laughs> now, of course, you know me. That, uh, you know you know me, man. You know what I'm saying? I had to make a video. And the reason why I wanted to make this video is because there is something big that a lot of you guys that are watching this video, and women, ladies, how you doing? It's a lot that you guys don't understand is happening within the gaming industry as far as implementing cross-platform play and the steps that 2K have taken in that field. A lot of people might not know, but 2K actually already has cross-play within one of their video games. I know that you guys didn't know, and that's why I'm here to talk to you about it. I want to spitball with you guys, so let's get our comment fingers ready because we're about to go on a crazy ride right now. So check this out. I decided to go on Digital Trends earlier today and check out what games had crossplay so far now right now there are only three games that fully support crossplay across all the platforms that the game is out on and it's currently fortnite dauntless and rocket league now if you guys don't know dauntless was a game that came out i believe last year or the year before it's been out for a little while now and it had a little rocky start but once the crossplay came into effect dauntless took off we already know what fortnite is doing we don't even have to say that game and rocket league for consistent years with the updates and the crossplay and everything that that game has offered has been a very popular game as far as tournaments crossplay um couch play fun all of that nonsense but what i'm here to talk to you guys about is the potential that 2k has to become one of those top games with crossplay as well as being one of the first sports games aside from rocket league uh, actual real sports that can take over the cross play game now what you guys are looking at is a, a long extensive list of games that support uh, cross play on a smaller scale which is partial cross play they don't support cross play throughout all of the games that they may uh, come out on all platforms all consoles all you know PC switch everything like that but most of these games do have it now what i want you guys to notice is nba 2k playgrounds 2 already has partial crossplay. it already supports it for xbox one switch and pc now i know that you guys didn't know this because come on how many of us out here are really honestly looking at NBA 2K Playgrounds 2 as a cross-platform game and a game that you want to play on a go with your friends on a whole nother console? We all focus so much on the main game, which is NBA 2K19 from last year and the potential game NBA 2K20 that is coming out on September 6th. So when you think about this in hindsight, right, that tweet actually makes much more sense then if LD2K didn't say anything at all. If LD2K didn't say anything at all, 
I still probably would have made this video a little bit closer to launch just because of the simple fact that I would have been looking up this information because there are a lot of people in our community that are a little pissed off and ticked off that they don't get to play certain comp or comp isn't over here or we more comp than you. You know, it's always the argument of PlayStation and Xbox. Xbox players will say they got the toughest comp in the world. You know what I mean? But statistics say that there are more users on PlayStation. There are more people playing PlayStation than it is Xbox. And we as PlayStation main users will say we got all the comp because all the YouTubers over here, a lot of the um, comp players like 2K League players are over here. Um, a lot of uh, Twitch streamers over on PlayStation. But like I said on Xbox, a lot of them will say they got the comp because there are a lot of athletes on xbox there are a lot of musicians and actors and act actresses and stuff like that on xbox i don't know why i don't know why it's so split but i believe the musicians and athletes and stuff, i don't know why y'all on xbox maybe y'all just like the way the console is maybe y'all nostalgic in the old field xbox but it's so many more people on ps4 that I would have thought that musicians, actresses, actors, and athletes would be more on PlayStation. Now, of course, we do have those top tier players, which are athletes and stuff like that on PlayStation. And yes, some of them do be mad comp, but there are also a lot of uh, influencers and social media influencers on PlayStation that hand their accounts over to their little cousins and brothers and sisters and stuff like that. And they get to play with that logo over top of their head, even though it may not be them. But what I want to tell you guys is this can open so many doors if they bring cross play to NBA 2K20 in the future games, because it will literally make everything so much how should I say so much more competitive so much more talk so many more videos being made you won't have to make a separate account for a whole nother console just to build up that player and everything like that and I know what you guys are thinking um why would 2k do that when that might take money out of their pocket because there are many people out here in this world such as myself that would be going to NBA 2K20 on PlayStation 4 and Xbox One and why would they take money out of their own pocket in order to bring crossplay? I believe crossplay will open so many doors and open the wallets of many which is sponsors, uh, partners, and stuff like that for 2K that eventually they'll literally make more money from bringing crossplay to their game than not having it at all. Because there are a lot of people out there that like PlayStation gameplay a lot better, but have six or seven friends that are on Xbox and none of their friends will leave for just them. So sometimes they have to say, well, I don't have another $400 to spend on an Xbox, so I'm gonna just stay over here with PlayStation and make new friends. And that's a lot of things that happen. So why wouldn't it be better to have people play on the better uh, PlayStation or Xbox that they're better at on and then come over and play crossplay with each other and still have those same vibes? It's like that same feeling that you had when you had to choose Sunset or Rivet or Old Town. When you had to choose and then they told you that you couldn't play with your actual friends until you got to a certain level. And, and in some cases, it, they couldn't even play. Like some people just couldn't play with each other at all. But eventually 2K said, uh, all right, even if you're at a different park, you'll be able to play with your friends when you get to a certain level. But if they bring cross platform play, oh my goodness, I would be rivet. Like I, I, I would, well, not rivet, like rivet city. No, I'm talking about like rivet. It would be riveting to play cross platform with other people. And this is that point in the video where I want to ask you guys in the comments, what do you think about this? Do you think that this is something that we need as a community? And of course, I know a lot of you guys will say yes. And are you happy that Chris Manning said that, you know, when I said, hey, I'm gonna make a video, he said, well, well, you can say that I passed that on among many other requests to our producers. So with that being said, the community is, is basically wanting and 2K, at least somebody there is listening to what we have to say. But I just wanna know what do you guys think is this a dub or is this a L if crossplay comes to NBA 2K20 in the future 2K installments? And remember, do not forget, NBA 2K Playgrounds 2 already has crossplay for Xbox One, Nintendo Switch, and PC. That opens your eyes, doesn't it? 
hope you guys enjoyed this video remember as news drops and things like that i will be making vids thank you guys for watching peace yeah you can't watch this whole video without subscribing